All right, to start to print your bridge, you're going to have to do a couple of simple steps. So you should have your bridge open and saved. So you're going to go open a new file. You're going to go to the big I up here. I don't have it on mine, but you will. It's a big I or just this blank sheet. So pretend there's an I there. It's the I new. And then you should be in English. And you're either going to go to ANSI IDW or if you're on templates, standard IDW, it doesn't matter which one. Just double click one of those. That's the first step there. You're going to see it's going to pop up with the sheet that we're going to print on. Very good. So the second step is to go over to sheet one and right click and go to edit sheet and change the size to A and then hit OK. And our final step is we're going to go to the base view right there and it should pop up. You should see the name of your file at the, on the end there and just click once on the screen and hit OK. And you're going to see my bridge is pretty small. Yours is going to be very similar to the size of this. Um, so my scale is going to just, you just scale it up or down until it fits very well on the sheet. So you're going to see, I'm probably going to need to do like 8 to 1. That's still too small. You can, you change the scale by double clicking this red line. So I'm going to do about 13 to 1. Most likely, yours is going to be, I'll show you. This is going to be 1 to 1.2. So 1 colon 1.2 should be yours. Mine's just a lot smaller. So that's about good for mine. And again, I'm moving the uh, bridge right here by the clicking and dragging the dotted line. And I'm editing it by double clicking the dotted line. And it brings up the scale and all of that stuff. After you've done that, you can just save it using the big I button. Again, you have an I, I have file, the big I button. Save. Save it as whatever you want. And make sure you know where you saved it. Hit save. And then you're going to go to File, or the big I, Print. And you can print at least two copies and hit OK. Make sure the printer is on Lab 601, Lab C, M601, and then you'll be good to print.